Hey, it's Ron from the Bob Sphere, and I finished another Booker novel. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so this is number 11, and I'll be receiving Bewilderment today. Anyway, I have the full set. Okay, Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. Okay, uh, well, I think it's the thickest one of the whole lot. And it took me a little bit more than a week and a half, but these are little details. What's the book about? Okay, the book has two timelines. In this year's Booker long list, there are lots of varying timelines. So fits in in that sense. So the one timeline chronicles a pilot, a female pilot, a fictional one, called Marion Graves. And the other timeline is, takes place in modern day with a kind of failed actress, kind of like Bojack Horseman, uh, but a younger version, called Hadley, I think it's here, yeah, Hadley Baxter. And she, you know, is going to have that career resuscitating role where she's going to play Marion Graves in a biopic. Now, the more Hadley starts discovering about about Marion, the more, you know, we see that, you know, secrets can't be kept. And hence the circle. I mean, the great circle, I mean, superficially, is Marion's quest to go around the world. But it's also how things go back at you. All those years, everything that Marion has done has turned a full circle with the younger generation. It's also a book about feminism. It's a book about the patriarchy. It's a book about breaking free. Marion wants to be a pilot. So she disguises herself. Well, she gets a boyish haircut. She starts dressing like a boy, you know. And she's breaking free from the shackles of society. In fact, the one and only time in the book when she does conform, because she does marry a person, it's miserable, she fails, it's terrible. Ugh. Okay, so break free. Even Hadley, or Hadley, whatever, she breaks free as well from the media that has uh, tortured her and uh, captured every move. It's breaking free and going that full circle. Okay, right, did I like the book? Yes, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It's good, it's good. It's very tight. I, I like the way it's plotted. I like the way um, Shipstead puts present and past and future, etc., etc. That's really well done. I did think it was over long. There is one section, this bit, the last 50 pages or so, it didn't really need to be there. Maybe you could have chopped that up and put it in the last page. There I am sounding like an editor. That's what I feel. Uh, I wasn't bored, but still, I. the funny thing is, I think for a Booker novel, it's a bit conventional, a bit tame. Uh, the writing style is okay, but it's not fantastic. It's, it's you know, just does the job. So, and I wouldn't give this a 6 out of 10. In fact, my rating now, because at the end of the month, I rate every book I, I, I read on Instagram. As a rating, I'll give it a 7.5. So, you know, that's, that's quite good. I could see this winning the Costa, if it's uh, eligible. But, you know, again, again, for a booker, it's a bit strange. That's all I will say. I, it's not a booker type of book. Yeah. Do I recommend it? Sure, go ahead. If you like uh, solid novels, you know, nice big page turners, as it is a page turner. You know, if you like those, go ahead, read it. Yeah. Just, it's fine, it's on a prize list. That's all. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Do you think it deserved to be shortlisted? Hmm. Tell me what you think. So, next I've got Bewilderment. And then I will be reading The Sweetness of Water. And I am finally finished from Booker Longlist 2021. <sighs> and then there's the shortlist videos. Okay. So the shortlist, no, not the shortlist, the winner prediction video. Okay, then. Bye, and see you next.